Hello everyone, Excedra here, bringing you Season 2, Episode 5 of Sink Into Madness, a mod pack by John Bams and M1 Jordan Allen. So in the last episode, we automated this mob farm, well, semi-automated in all honesty. We have everything to catch the mob drop, but really nowhere to send them for the time being. We need a bit more automation for that. Today is going to be about making the lava island and get into Tinker. I want to make a Tinker Furnace, and for the Tinker Furnace, I'm going to need a controller, a lava tank, one drain, one casting table, one casting basin, two spout, nine for the base, and nine for the first level, which means 114 grout, which means 15 crafting of grout. For the 15 crafting of grout, I need 60 gravel, 60 sand, and 15 clay. So to make this a bit easier, I'm just going to take two and a half stack right now. And I'm going to be using my hammer on it, and I'm going to be using my oh, my magnet to catch everything. So, first of all, let's get rid of that tree that's in the way. No bird around. Really? I'm already out of, <laughs> of the crook, so let's just get rid of all of this. And let's make another crook. Hello, another crook, and I'm going to replace my stone axe with the one that's most broken. I'm just going to finish that tree off. Finish that whole tree off. And then I'm going to just go that way. I'm going to put as much cobble as I can. And I'm going to go... Wait. One, two... And then I'm going to break it. So I used how much? I used almost a stack. Did I catch all of it? 64. Oh, I used more than a stack. So yeah, this is working well. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't putting myself in a situation where I was losing some. The magnet is really a big help in the beginning. It's something that you need to get as soon as possible. Let's break all of this. And, okay, I need another hammer. Wow. So I'm really going through a lot of uh, resource, I guess. Perfect. Let's break that down. And I still have 26 cobblestone. Let's put those 26 down. And I didn't lose any, so that's a very good thing that I have the magnet. Let's go. And that's everything. Perfect. So we can break all of this down. So now I need to keep... 60 gravel. I'm going to make everything else into uh, sand. I need 60 sand and the rest is going to become clay. The only thing is, okay, let's just to be sure that I don't make a mistake, I'm going to keep my 60 gravel here. Like so. And like so. Oh, let's just take that out of the way. Oh, and two of them didn't break. That's kind of weird. Now let's go with the next level. The wand and the hammer and the fact that there's the shift for multiple uh, multiple layer uh, for harvesting all of the resource in one go makes a very big difference. This is something that would take so long otherwise. So let's grab the next. Need more cobblestone. So let's grab another hammer like so and i'm going to do the same thing i did just to not make any mistake hmm. and i'm going to put it here i'm going to put 64 sand 60 sands in here and i'm going to grab the rest of this and now all of this i'm going to make into dust the only problem with clay is that it's going to be a bit more arduous of a process so one level two level and three and that should be all of it in one go all into dust. Perfect. And the reason I say it's going to be a bit more arduous, arduous of a process is that I have to put these one by one in there. There are ways of automating it, but I can't automate the water yet. So, you know, I can't automate the water. But what I can do is I have two hoppers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first take this up here because I don't want to be downstairs. I'm going to grab two hoppers and I'm just going to put it this way. I'm going to put one hopper on the ground here. 
this right nope this has to go on the hopper itself and then the hopper on the top and then I can put this in here and that by the way it's a tip and trick from uh, Crater 8 in the last uh, series he did say uh, why are you not using a hopper and like so I just go around and I do this 38 times so that was a very good idea Crater 8 it's at least much better than having to grab everything one by one. 20, how much left? 18, so 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 0, oh wow. That that was an amazing trick. It, it went so much faster than it could have. Just breaking all of this to get the resource that I can and get out of my way. And you know what? Die. I don't like having an Enderman. I don't even know where he came from. Technically, they're not supposed to get out of the mob farm because they can't see outside. So let's put the rice in here. This in here, this in here, this, the apple, that. And let's go replant the tree ASAP because... We're going to need more wood as this thing goes, and we might as well take the time to harvest all of our berry. Wow, that's a lot of juice. I'm glad I put more down because I don't have time to water them. If I was in a dire food situation, I could water them, which would fix everything, but I don't need to. Let's grab the sand, and let's grab the gravel. And the reason I did that right now is I want to make the grout. Let's search for grout. Uh, I want to make the grout... And start cooking it because it's going to take a little while to cook. So 64. Do I have any? Ooh, I only have two charcoal. So I kind of have to delay my plan once again. So I'm going to put that in there and start cooking some normal wood. And while I'm waiting for this, time to grab some more gravel. Uh, some more and more cobblestone. Sorry, not gravel. And this is working perfectly, making me lava. And I'm going to go start on my next island. So, next island. I'm going to have to take you out of the way and you out of the way. And I'm going to use my chisel again to make a different pattern. I like this. What was this called again? I'm going to use this for the floor. So those are panel. I'm going to make a stack of panel. No, not big tile. Panel. Perfect. And that's what I'm going to use for the base of the island. I'm also going to make that island 7x7, seven seven, I think. So, 1, 2, 3. Uh, this one was a bit bigger. So, I have to be careful. I want to kind of try to keep things similar. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And on the other side, 1, 2, 3. Perfect. And now the wand. 1, three four five six seven and i have the same kind of island on this side also now i'm going to need way more fence than i have right now so let's just do this and i'm going to be putting fence gate in between each island just i don't have to close them but it, it's a safety concern i really don't want to have to deal with mob problem like it's it's one of those things that's a real hassle let's put that here let's make some more fences transform all of this fence I think are right this way yeah and I don't know, I'm going to do some more just one second no you don't go there uh, I'm going to use this for the sticks I don't like having the fences different color so I'm making sure to use the one type of stick to one type of uh, uh, to, to uh, the different type of wood to make the different type of stick. So it doesn't matter. Perfect. So let's do this and around like so. And I have to go the whole way around. And these are things that you have to work at during the day. You can't be doing those during the night. And contrary to my last season, I'm not building roof every over every part of the island. And the reason I'm not doing that is I don't feel I don't feel it was helping much. It 
it felt too enclosed. I already have one very enclosed space and that's enough for now. So like this, and I'm going to put a gate right here and a gate right here. So between every island, I'm just going to have a gate from now on. This way, when I'm going around, I'm going to make sure to open and close them. So at the very least, if there's an event, I can be stuck in between two gates and try to survive there. I might even enclose the section thinking about it. That might not be a bad idea, actually. I will have a problem with my growth of trees, though, so I'm going to have to find something different for that island. So perfect. Like we said, this is going to be the lava island. And for the lava island, I'm just going to go like this. And this is going to be one bunch of uh, lava production. Uh, so let me just grab a couple more big no that's that's where i screwed up i'm gonna use the ornit and i'm gonna break this the reason i said i screwed up is that the way i made it right now need another uh pickaxe the way i made it right now i wouldn't be able to harvest the whole thing in one go if i wanted to and that's kind of the goal of how i'm doing things so that if i need to remove uh, everything from one level or type of things I can just do it in one go now I can't because I would be taking off the floor so I should have made it from a different pattern altogether let's go back and continue this and break this so I could have shift harvested this if it was made from a different type of cobblestone I have to be careful about that because whenever I need to get rid of a mob that would be a good way of getting rid of a mob I'm going to go with this weird ornit pattern all around like so. Nope, not you. All around like so. Let me remove these two. And I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five more ornits. So let's grab the chisel and one, two, three, four, five. And grab the ornit that I'm going to finish right here. And the reason I did that. And night is coming. So let's light up the island to make sure that we're not having any surprise. Like this, like that. And I'm even going to put one there just for luck. Do I have time to transfer the lava? I wanted to test the burn of the island. So yeah, I can transfer the lava. So what I want to do is use lava. And put lava right here. And lava on the other side. Because this is right now 1x. And 1x is it's not enough. With the lava, I think we're at least going to be doing 3x, so it's going to be producing stuff a bit faster. Let me grab another one and put it in the center, like so. Perfect. That's done. Let's close this. Let's close that. Let's close all of the doors and come back here. And this is trying to produce 1,000. Uh, 1, uh, I'm going to put three more. And the reason I'm going to put three more, that's going to be two more buckets of lava. So now that I have this done and I have my grout, I think it's going to be enough cooking of uh, charcoal. So let's just, the moment this one's finished, I'm going to replace this with grout. And this is going to be for my tinker. Perfect. So I already have, oh wow. So that's 28 charcoal. So I should be good to burn, uh, to create all of my... Uh, my grout that I need into seared brick. Perfect. So let's do a little bit of dumping. Uh, what's in here? I'm going to dump the food in here and the bush and the saplings. I'm going to use this one as my dumping ground for the rest. Oh, wow, it's already full. Hmm. Okay. Since it's night and we're waiting anyway, let's get started on another quest line. Let's go in here, getting started, and we want to get started with easy storage. So easy storage. To use an easy storage, you need storage boxes and a storage core. You can continue to add storage box onto each other to add more storage capacity. You can up upgrade your storage by adding various blocks from the mod, including a search and crafting upgrade. Higher tiers of material gives more storage capacity per block. So we need a storage core and a storage, uh, four storage block box. Well, let's just look at it quickly. It's it's very simple recipe. At oh, at sorry, I'm having a problem with my keyboard. At easy storage. 
So a storage core needs a blank box, and a storage box needs a blank box. So I need to make four of these. I need four, five blank box, and blank box are made in pair of two. So we're going to need to make three sets of those. So let's grab my jungle wood, and from my jungle wood, I'm going. Let's. I'm going to need four, eight, twelve planks. So four, eight, twelve planks. I'm going to need some sticks, and then I can just go like this. Make three sets of those. The storage box needs four chests each. This makes this jungle wood around four makes four chests. So one, two, three, four. And I need another chest for the actual storage core. I also need an iron ingot that I already have from before. So let's make a storage core. And let's make three storage box. Perfect. So that quest is completed going to give us a condensed storage box and a reward bag. Let's take the middle one this time. The middle one contains, what do we get? Oh, four more hopper. Wow. This playthrough is really lucky on the hoppers, which are just basically helping my start by giving me more potential for automation. Okay, so I told you what I was going to do with that. First, I'm going to break this middle piece of floor here. And I'm going to put the storage core right there. Then I'm going to break all around these four. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put the four storage box in here. And then what else do I need? I'm going to put down the condensed storage just because I think it gives us a little bit more space. Oh, yes, I can get that from here, which is oh great. Let's do that. And I got a diamond one right here. So this is an ultra storage box. Well, before I put it down, let's look. So now with the four storage box and the condensed storage, we have 5,600 spot. And if I break this right here and put the ultra storage box in, I now have 85,000. So we're kind of done with chest. I can now throw everything in here. You know what? I'm just going to throw everything except my magnet and except an... I was going to say one axe, but let's craft another one because I don't want to be in a bad situation if mob starts attacking me. So let's craft one more axe like so. And now I just need to basically transfer stuff. So. This is just going to be a mass clicking nightmare, but it should go fairly fast. What's my crowd situation? Let's put some more and let's put everything in here. This is really amazing, by the way. Like That's why you want to rush this. It's episode four and it's already crafted. It's that inexpensive and it does away with all of the chest nightmare of having to figure out where everything is put. It's not quite a, uh, what's it called, a, um, I'm, I have a blank. I'm trying to talk about the storage mechanism that everyone, applied energistic. Wow, so that took a while, but I remembered it. So it's not quite applied energistic, but for needs in this playthrough, it's going to be quite enough and it's going to work very well. There's extraction port, input port. The problem with this is that all of the next part are kind of really expensive. So we're gonna have to wait to be able to get to these. Uh, especially the, I think it's the crafting grid. It needs a lot of, um, it needs a lot of blaze rods. And like I said, the blaze rod, I'm going to get from the nether, but I don't wanna spend all of the one I have for now. I'm just gonna get in there to make sure that breaking this gets them into my inventory. And I did, oh no, I, I thought I'd lost one. Oh, not these. And this one, perfect. So all of these go in here. And then all of this also. And I have a lot of material. I didn't notice because it was in so many chests, but I do have a good start material wise. So let's take this and put it in here. And now everything is so much easier because all of my material is in this one place. I don't have the ability to search, but I have easy access to it. Let's take a quick look at the other level. So the storage box can be upgraded into a 
uh, super... No, I have to upgrade it in a condensed first, which is iron expensive, which then gets upgraded into a storage box made out of gold, super storage box, which is a lot of gold, that same thing with diamond. And then you have the ultimate, and the ultimate is just crazy. Look at this. The hyper, sorry, it's two nether stars. So we're not there yet. But the storage is, I think it's 600,000 something. Input port is how we put things in our system. And that basically is four piston, three hopper, a block of quartz, and a blank box. The ejection port, uh, not the ejection, I don't care about that. The extraction port is how you extract item. It needs an input port. So whatever we use, not only is this more expensive, but it has to start from building this, which needs block of quartz. And I wonder, so this is snow, this is marble. Yeah, I don't have quartz yet. Quartz is going to have to wait for the nether, so I can't even do any input output. Crafting box, like I told you, needs three eyes of ender, which means two, um, two blaze rod. I do have the blaze rod. If I wanted to... Yes, I do have the blaze rod, but I want to make the blaze rod seed because it's it's so important that you get it as soon as possible that I'm going to keep that for now. Then the other part that you can make is the search box. Again, four full block of iron, a compass, which is not that expensive compared to the four full blocks of iron. But then you need these enchanted book. The good thing is that there's an easy way of making enchanted book. And because we got some uh, leather, there's actually an easy way of doing this. I'm going to show you quickly. I have four emerald. Uh, where's the leather? Probably in the mob drop. I still haven't transferred these. So yeah, I'm going to take one mob drop and then I'm going to make some paper. So I'm going to need three and I'm only going to grab one emerald. So you can transform three sugarcane into paper. You know what? I'm not going to do that because there's something else that works. I think it's rice. Is it three rice? No. I'm just going to search the paper quickly. Paper. Oh, yeah, it's three rice, but like this. So I'm going to use the rice instead because it's easier to make rice than it is to make sugar cane. Three paper and a leather makes a book. And one book and one emerald makes a enchanted flim flam book, which is really useless unless... You need to craft a search box. So that's how I'm going to be making my search box. Because having to search in this by looking down and checking the names and everything, it's kind of difficult. But So that's probably one of the first things that we're going to be making. Because if I look at iron, see, I have to very carefully go down and search for iron. I have two iron here and iron ore is going to be in here. I have 19 iron ore in here. Let me check on the grout and let's grab the other grout from here and add it back in here. So while we're waiting for this, I'm going to go and take a look at the mob farm. Uh, let, let's just make this close to each other because one is range, the other is hitting power. Let's go back here. Oh, wow. Things went into my inventory, which means that my hopper, yeah. Wow, that is amazing loot. Look at all of this. I really should have made a better mob farm from the get-go in my playthrough, in my other playthrough. It would have solved so many of my problem. So, perfect. Let's come in here and now put that in here. So, I have redstone, copper, nickel, glowstone, enderpearl, glass bottle, gunpowder, bone, sugar, spider eye. Oh, 13 more iron, some more coal, secret spice, diamond. Platinum, gold, quill. So the quill are a weird weapon. I've never really used these things. Let me just finish transferring everything because obviously I've decided to put everything in my system. So let's get all of this. And I'm also going to do something else to accelerate the playthrough. One of the things that I got with the winter gift is I got some block of iron directly. So I'm going to use them to make the search because I really want to be able to search in there. It's just going to make it less of a waste of time when we're doing the playthrough. Not going to always be scrolling up and down searching for what I need. It's kind of a necessary thing. And it's not game breaking. So honestly, if I was the maker of this mod pack, I would probably give a crafting and a search box 
like a, sorry, a sorting box, not a sorting box, a search box and a crafting box right off when you made the other easy storage because getting those, they don't really break the playthrough. They don't make things crazy overpowered. They just, they're what you call quality of life improvement. So they're totally worth it and not changing anything to the game factor. Let's go take a quick look at the, oh, whenever there's a tree ready, I'm going to just harvest it. But now you see I need a crook and I have to like scroll down slowly to try and visually see a crook. I have three crooks. This is ridiculous. Not only do I have three crook, I also have a wooden axe that I want to get rid of. So let's do this and that. And what's happening with the mob spawning? It's kind of crazy. It feels in this game that once you have a mob farm that's filled with mob, you kind of start getting less um, mob spawn from tree harvesting. So this is ready here and I should have two more buckets of lava. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get two buckets and grab the lava from this. Uh, two bucket. I've oh I don't even have two buckets of lava yet and you know what here's I've had an idea and it's going to sound a bit crazy I don't even know if it works but I want to try it I'm gonna make one right now I need some sand I don't have any sand so I'm gonna have to make a little bit of sand so this and a hammer where's my hammer I'm trying something I just thought of. Like, it's not something that I had planned for for this episode. It's just something like, oh, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's going to work well. So let's break all of this for sand. And you know what? I need another furnace, but not right now. So let's remove the grout. Oh, that's not sand. Sorry. I kind of completely forgot that I also need to break it down a second time to get sand. Let's break this down. And I'm going to get one sand cooked into glass ASAP. The moment this one grout is finished, I'm going to replace the rest of the grout with a sand. And voila. Get the rest of the grout. I had three more grouts that I wanted to process. Yeah, right here. And put them in here. Perfect, which gives me one glass. The reason I wanted to do that is I'm going to make another cobblestone generator. Because they really are kind of inexpensive, and I want to try something that I haven't tried before. So let's do like this, and a glass in the middle, and lava and water. It's going to give me a cobblestone generator. Perfect. And now I'm just waiting for the remainder of this lava. Wow, oh, this is taking longer than I thought. I can break this and get it. Am I done with my pickaxe already? No, I just put it in here. Perfect. So let's grab this. I have my magnet turned on, so I'm not going to lose it. Then I'm going to get the lava in 14, 13. Not doing the countdown. This is ridiculous. Just wait three more and one bucket of lava. Let's break this. And we grab it in our inventory. So now let's go back there and I can show you what I was want to try. I'm going to put this back there and put a crucible right here, like so. And now I don't know, will this push? So I have 15 cobblestone right now. And this has two and now three. So no, it doesn't push. Okay, so I can't do that directly. What I can do though is put a um, hopper in here. And instead of having to worry about bringing cobblestone, I'm just going to put a cobblestone generator on it. The cobblestone generator is so inexpensive that it's worth it just to be getting max lava. So this is going to fill with maximum, I think, eight bucket of lava before I need to empty it. So I don't need to take care of it quite as immediately as I need to. But now I'm starting to accrue lava, which is important because one of the things that we want to do is more obsidian for the the nether and more lava for power so this part is done we also need it for th tinker i was going to forget about that uh, in tinker you need some lava to be able to cook the uh, to melt the material uh so i'm going to need like i said one controller 
like this. So that's a small tree controller. I'm going to need a drain. It's not like that, it's like that. I'm going to need two spouts. So like that, like that. And I'm going to need a casting table and a casting basin. I don't need a casting basin. It just makes everything easier. So I'm also going to need one more glass. So I'm going to wait for this one to finish cooking. Same thing we did before. Remove it, put this in, wait for my glass, and that's going to make the lava tank where we put the lava actually. So let's go. And put back the kraut in. So now I can do eight around with one glass in the middle and that's the seared tank. And now we need everything else into brick. So we have enough to start the base. Where am I going to put this? So I want to put this I don't actually need an island for this. Ooh, I'm having somewhat of a somewhat genius idea. Might not be a good idea, but I think it's going to work. So I'm going to go right here and continue this like that. And I'm going to jump in. Can I jump in there? It's a little bit scary, but I think I, yes, I can. But I don't have my wand, so I'm not going to do this without my wand because the most time you spend in a dangerous position, the more risk you have of actually dying. So I'm just going to get out of there. And since I have those tiles here and there and they might connect here, I'm just going to put standard cobblestone. So another one, another one and another one. That should be enough to build my base. Yeah, so I'm going to go like so. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three. So that's my base. Oh, and I can't jump out of here. So that's not actually a good idea for when I need to come out. I'm going to put the smeltery drain right here. And the reason I'm going to put the smeltery drain right here is that I'm going to be able to put the cast in. That's not in the right position. Sorry, guys. I'm having a derp of a moment. So uh, I wanted to have the casting base in here. So I still need to back that away by one more. And I'm going to put everything in front. So I'm going to back this this way. Perfect. And oh, this is too stuck. I'm not happy with this because then I would need to break these. To... OK, so that was a bad idea. We don't keep that idea. We fix that. So let's grab all of this. And now I'm going to break through right here. And like I told you guys, that's the fun part because nothing is of the same material. I don't want this island. I can just do this and get away with this island. And now I'm going to put the fence back down right here. And I don't know why, but this torch got off. So let's put the torch back. And I need a smeltery island. So I don't have a choice. I actually have to make a smeltery island. And it's going to be night again. Oh my god. This is not good. I'm wasting a bit too much time. I didn't know I was taking so long doing things. So I'm going to make another chisel. And I have enough diamond. I'm going to make a diamond chisel. It's really expensive, but this one should last a lot longer. So diamond chisel. And I have to choose the next material I'm going to be using for the next island. So let's grab two stack. And since this island is going to be connected to the first one, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to make the connection a special different material so that everything in between and then all the floors can be the same thing. Prism, embossed, indented marker. Don't like these. Isn't there like a Troden Pat kind of one? Weathered brick, cracked brick. Um, panel, ornate, mosaic layer. Jelly bean. These names, they're kind of crazy sometimes. Road. You know what? It's called road. Let's use road. So what I mean by that is I don't like the idea that there's still wood in my base because wood is burnable. So I want to make the separator between the island out of this road material. So every separator between every island from now on is going to be made from the road material. So if ever I need to disconnect to island, I can just easily break the road to remove the connection between the two island. 
The only problem with that is that if I need to break down the island, then I need to cross the road to actually uh, break down the island. But that should be okay. Oh. Right there. Perfect. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to re be replacing this at some point, just not right now. So I'm going to have to make another Tinker Island. I'm going to put it back there because honestly, I'm not going to need access to it quite as often as we want, as I need to. Well, wow, that actually made no sense. What I meant to say is that I'm not going to need to go to it quite as often as you might think. So now I have the uh, nine that I needed for the base, oh, nine that I needed for the base, and I need nine for the surrounding, like so. And these are extra seared brick. I'm not going to use them because I might need them for something else. And now that this is done, I'm going to work on the next part. I want to make the grinder because of the quest. So grinder. I need three of any kind of different material, three cobblestone and cobblestone walls. So cobblestone walls, well, let me grab my stone from here. So cobble, I'm still doing some cobblestone. I'm going to replace that with some more charcoal because I don't need that much stone, but I'm going to need the charcoal. So let's grab that stone. So we're going to make stone fences like so. And I have three gravel at least, so I can make one flint. And now I have some polished stone in here, a uh, polished andesite. So one, two, three. So three polished andesite and one flint with two cobblestone wall. Like, oh, did I really see what I just saw? I don't want to lose my andesite, but you remember when I went there? And there was only andesite. Well, I kind of found an exploit. And here's the exploit. You take three polish andesite like this and you make stone slab. Six. Which you stack one top of each other and get three stone. So remember guys, when I told you that I was going to use a reward, I didn't need to. There's plenty of andesite there. All I needed to do was transform it into stone that way. Which is crazy, but I'm really glad I found it because if you guys have Harvey are having a hard time starting this, well, this is how you can get an accelerated start. So let's put this like that and like that, and we're going to get a grinder. And we need a stone plate for the grinder. Well, we need a plate. It could be made out of any material, and the better the material, the better the result. But for now, we're just going to go with that. Let's grab back the quest book. Not going to need that or that. I'm just going to get rid of a couple of things that I don't need to have on me. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Now we'll grab the quest book. If I can find it. Oh, not having the search is going to annoy the heck out of me. Where's my quest book? I honestly don't see it. You guys are probably saw it on the first pass and be like, no, stop on that road. This is where it is. Oh, right here. Perfect. So quest book. And let's look at this. So wow, now we ore doubling. The grinder is a simple block for ore doubling. Simply place your ore in the GUI, place a pressure plate on the grinder, then up on the plate to grind the ore. More expensive plate are more efficient for jumping. The higher you fall on the plate, the more ore it grinds at a time. So the idea that you have to go and climb upstairs and then drop higher makes no sense. If I had a double or triple jump magic, it might make sense. But by the time I have that, I'm not going to care anymore. So let's claim the middle reward back. Let's see what it can take. Oh. Stupid slime girl egg. So now let's put that down. And that I'm going to put around here. So what I'm going to do, this is what I wanted to do in the beginning. Do I have more fences? Uh... I'm sure I have more fence. I just can't see that. I need to make the search ASAP. This is really annoying. Yeah, more fence right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. And I'm going to put the grinder right here. The plate on top of it. And I'm going to put the fence here and there. So now if I jump, see, I can't fall off of this. And I can easily get back into my base if I need to. 
So, click this, perfect. Let me grab some iron, all of my iron. And let's put all of my iron in here. And now let's jump while we're listening for birds. And you do hear the click of every time you activate the plate. So every time you activate the plate, I think you're doing like the ch that you just heard that scared me. That means one iron was broken into two iron powder. So let's continue. I'm going to need, let me just take a quick look. Iron wise, what do I have? I have two iron and two block of iron and I want to make the search. So for the search, I need four block and four iron. So I need nine, 18, uh, 20. Perfect. So that's how many do I have right now? That's four. So four. And you just jump like that all night. That's six. Uh, this is really boring. So we want to make a pulverizer. That's te uh, eight. We want to make a pulverizer as soon as possible. So that's nine, ten. And 11, 12. And 13, 14. Let me grab these. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start cooking this because it takes as much as as much time cooking this as it takes grinding it. But in the beginning, you don't have a lot of material, so you need to. So that's 16. Next time is going to be 18. And next time is going to be 20. Yes, perfect. So that's going to be 20 that I'm going to put in here. And while I'm waiting for this to get processed, I'm going to go take a quick look at the mob farm. And get to safety so that the bird can't catch you. It's pretty much a given. And can I get to the hopper? Wow. Yeah, this is working really well. Didn't get any iron this time. Oh, yeah, six iron. I thought I didn't see any iron, which would have been kind of sucky because in the beginning, iron is the thing that we need the most. Let's put that all in here, and I'm getting a lot of ore now. This is really feeling great. I'm still waiting for the iron or for day. Let's take a quick look. What else can we make? We can start on the open modular turret. Open modular turrets. Turrets protect you and your base from mobs. You will need a base to place the turret on. You also need power and in most case ammo. A crank will allow you to give the turret power manually. So let's look at the open turret. At open underscore turret. No, at open turrets. No. Okay, at open turrets like this. So the base needs four plank for cobblestone and this needs four redstone. Then the crank is just cobblestone and the first they want to make is a potato cannon which needs two more redstone here, one more redstone here. It's a lot of wooden redstone. So we need basically eight redstone. Do I have eight redstone? I have one. But it's not really a problem because I'm going to just grab two redstone ore like this. I'm going to come here, remove this, put the two redstone ore. And these should give me, I think, 24. I'm just going to wait for the... Psh. So that's 12. And another go that's going to be 24. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like I said. So I'm going to continue this after the... the um, when we're at night, after putting down the tinker. I want to finish the tinker right now. So cobble for the floor. I'm going to grab some more cobblestone. I'm going to put this away. Grab that and let's go. So going to the third island right now. Well, the third island. I got one, two, three, four, five island. This is going to be island number six. We're going to break this right here. Then we're going to go with the cobblestone road in between. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, just needed one. So one. One, two, three, four. Gonna make it seven by seven like we do with everything else. And then I can use the one. Unfortunately, I kind of screwed up the pattern. So that's two, three. Oh, I'm out. So I need to make some more. 
uh, panel. One here, so it's three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now we're going to need to fence that all around. One, two, three, four, and go around. I always like doing it in this pattern because if I get attacked by a mob or anything, I already have a corner I can run toward. Let's continue. I'm holding shift. Don't ever forget to hold shift. Unless you're harvesting the floor, then don't hold shift because you're going to take the whole floor off. One thing that I've seen people uh, do on the website, someone said he made checkered board flat pattern. So all of the floors that he made was one cobblestone, one other thing, one cobblestone, one other thing to help against uh, error harvesting, but that seems like way too much work for me. I, I don't want to go down that road. So I'm going to go into that corner like so, and then I can do this and put that. And you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there's no real, oh, and I did the same mistake I talked about last time. I want to make sure that there's no weird spawning location. So I'm going to make sure that everything's covered back there. Like so. And I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to use the brick pattern. Since this seared furnace looks like brick, I'm going to use uh, weathered brick, cracked brick. Is there just, yeah, just a standard. I'm just going to use a standard brick. So like so, all around, like this, and I'm going to put some more seared brick like this. And I wanted the seared tank right here, so with a brick right there, and I wanted, I'm going to put the smeltery drain right here. I'm going to put the control, hmm. No, uh, that's the mistake I'm making. I don't want this right here. I want this right there. Oops. Again with the wand. So I want to put the seared tank right here. Oh, salty tree. Oh, salty no! Tree. I made the mistake How I said. So do you see how this was a good idea? Putting separation in between everything? Let's get in here. Oh, that was an easy event because... And I'm getting mouse problems just at the worst possible time. <sighs> I got chills, man. I completely forgot about this, but that's why I wanted to get all of these separation between each of the island. See how... Even though I screwed up, I was able to get to safety quickly. I don't want this to happen again. What's the solution when you don't want a mistake to happen again? You fix it immediately. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to start making some more fence gate. Uh, not this, this. So that's a fence gate and let's get six more fence gate. And now the event is over and I survived it because of what I thought of doing from the beginning. There's still some trees to kill, but now that I'm like perfectly set up to be able to attack them one at a time, I don't have to be worried about any of this. So let's get rid of this, this and that, and let's take my other axe and let's continue going toward my islands one by one. Oh, wow. Oh, this is actually scary. I completely forgot. So mobs can't jump over um, fences but in this case I need to make a second high fence so that was a mistake oh can I get this one yes of course I can <laughs> I finally found another use for the spear how much life does oh, okay it's dead perfect so this is scary I need a second level of fence something I'm gonna be fixing but gate here and gate there. This is not happening to me again. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, the smeltery controller, I want to put in the corner here. And that's important. I'm going to show you why in a moment. Then I want to put this right here. And I want to fill this with lava. So let's just do this. And that takes four lava. So one, 
two, three. And let's grab a fourth bucket of lava. So that's fully lava-ified. And now I want the two faucet, one for here, one for there. And that's where I'm going to be putting... I'm going to put the most useful closest. So I'm going to put the casting table there and the casting basin there. And now I need to just run back quickly because I need some more... Um, yeah, stay there. I need some more torches. I don't want to take the risk of not having the torch. Let's go like this. Need another wooden crook. Back away. No, I'm good. Perfect. I'm safe. Kill this. There's just there's an Enderman that died there, but I have no clue what killed it. That is definitely strange. Okay, so let's put that in here, that in here. All of this in here. And what I I actually need some food. So let me grab two juices if I can find them. I need the search feature and the sort feature. Juice, 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 juice. Really? Grab a juicer and grab a strawberry and whatever berry I find this. Okay, perfect. Let, let's not search for the juice. I can't seem to be finding it. So let's make more juices and just drink those. One juice. Oh, I actually need three. This is kind of a waste a little bit of resource, but I want to get it to make sure. So now I can show you what I wanted to do. I need a hopper, and I know I have a lot of hoppers, so let's grab this hopper. The reason I put this in the corner right there is that I can now put a hopper next to it, like so. And in the hopper, I can put iron like this, and I want to check. I'm just going to cook one block. I want to see if this double the ores. If it gives me two ore, two ingot, then I don't need the grinder anymore. If it doesn't give me two ingot, I might continue using the grinder, even though I find it annoying. And while I'm waiting for this, I'm going to go get some more torches because I forgot about that. So where are my torches? Four torches. That should be enough, right? To light up this place. And don't forget, I'm going to put some on top of the structure. Something that you have to make sure not to forget. So one here, one there, one up, one on top here, and one in the corner here. I'm going to want one more, two more. Let's check the result. It made two ingots. So yes, I'm done with the grinder already. So that's how fast you get away from the grinder. It's something you really have to do as soon as possible. So... I was right in my order. I knew I needed it for the weapon, which is why in my planet was put in that order. But I didn't really process my ore in that way in the last episode, so I didn't think that it would work. But uh, it does work. I'm also going to be putting some gold in there because I want to be able to make ingot. So let me just grab all of that and I'm going to need one brick. So let me see if I have one clay somewhere. One clay, perfect. So I'm going to be cooking that one clay. Once the clay is cooked, I'm going to be putting all of this jungle wood in there. And wow, this episode is too long again, but there's so much thing I want to accomplish. The reason I'm taking one clay is this, is that now that I have this, I'm going to be putting some gold in here and I'm going to make an ingot mold cast. So I need to do them one by one. Like so and this one like so put those back in there and I'm gonna start cooking all of my material here it's just I didn't think that it was going to I didn't remember to test that that's let's be honest I wanted to tinker to be able to make my uh, weapon to be ready to make carbon weapon and I didn't think of testing that before so I'm just waiting for the gold the gold's ready you put a brick here you cast the gold on top of it and then I'm going to switch back to iron and I'm going to cast one full iron here and one there. So this is going to make a block of iron and this is going to make an ingot of iron. So I'm going to need a second ingot of iron. Oh, come on. It's becoming night. Ah, oh, this is taking so long to, okay. I'm not going to be able to do it on time. So what I was trying to do actually is I was trying to get everything for my search for the easy storage but oh derp 
completely forgot I already cooked the iron. So that's what I'm going to end on. I'm going to be creating my search. So I need one more block, two more block like so. And I need a redstone and I need some wood. Oh, I already have some wood. What else do I need? I need the other two blocks of iron. Where are my other two blocks of iron? I need this book. Uh, I'm going to need two more iron, two more books, two more emerald, one, two, which means I'm going to need, what am I going to make the book with again? Where's my rice? Oh, not having the search is really screwing me over. It's making this so difficult. So I'm going to need two leather. And you know what? I'm just going to use a sugar cane because I found it. I'm that lazy. So six sugar cane oh, into six paper. Like this is going to make two book. Two book and two emerald is going to make two flim flam. I'm going to make a compass. Like so I still need my iron. I forgot my two iron block. I'm looking closely. Yeah, two iron block. And I need a blank box. I have one blank box left from the last time. Blank box. Perfect. So from the from the blank box uh, R, I need to find the search. Search box is like this. You can't shift click it because of flim flam book. So you just do it like this. Flim flam flim flam flim flam blank box and then the four block of iron gives you a search box and now you need to just connect this in some way so the easy way is i'm just going to break this piece of floor right here put the search box there and now finally clay or uh, quill or you can search everything so that's going to accelerate thing and you know what Let's just do one more thing. What are my blaze? I want to search. Oh, by the way, how you synchronize it, you sync it with GI by clicking this. So let's just look at blaze. And I want to look at the blaze seed. So the blaze seed are made from Inferium and Tier 1 Crafting Seed that I need to go to the nether and blaze chunk. <coughs> Sorry. And for blaze chunk, I need one tier mob, one chunk, and four blaze rod. So let's look at blaze i have eight let's look at chunk i have one okay so i'm not even close so i'm going to use some of my blaze rods and i just want to check quickly if i do it normally it gives two what gives me more though if i put it in a pulverizer it's four in a sag oh in a grinder it's four so yeah i'm going to sac sacrifice one I'm going to sacrifice one here so I can get four. I wasn't jumping on it. So I'm just waiting for the pitch that tells me everything's fine. Like so. And I get those four. And I'm going to use three ender pearls. So one, two, three. Like so. Oh, keep this. And then I'm going to be making what I talked about earlier. So that's going to be one, two, three, four crafting table. This around, I'm going to be making two more blank box. And then from the, I need this to become ender eyes like this. And then the blank box, where's the crafting? I need one diamond, diamond, one diamond right here. And then I can make the, uh, crafting just so that again everything here is about accelerating the playthrough i'm not quite sure that getting those blaze rod in the winter gift was fair but by doing this at least i'm putting myself in a situation where it's going to make things easier i'm going to take a big risk right here and break this oh no i can't break it oh yes i completely forgot it's not empty so easy at easy storage you need to make one of these dolly. So it's three stone pressure plate and four iron. I have two iron. Do I have more iron? Hmm. I have more iron, but it's back there. I want to make the dolly because I want to move it. So in the meantime, I'm just going to put the crafting table in this corner. Oh, it's not working. Oh, sorry, it's, you don't click on it. Oh, so it doesn't matter. 
doesn't need to be in any like good position. So I'm just going to break the floor right here and I'm going to put the crafting box right there. And now I can click this and not only do I have access to this easily, but I have crafting also. So let me get rid of this and I'm going to be calling this an episode. We back there did the Tinker Island and the Lava Island and the Tinker's functional and it's melting material, which is amazing. It's not fully automated, but at least it's starting to get material. Uh, no, no bird. Oh, my mouse. I must ha be having a battery problem. Wow. There's something else stuck in there, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, if you guys are not playing this mod pack now during winter, it's even better than the Halloween one. You should be looking at doing it in the Halloween, uh, in the winter, because it's the whole month of December, not just one day. And look at these gifts. I'm really scared of opening those gifts, though, because even though they're good material, they're a good risk. Here's what I'm going Next episode, I think I'm going to start by opening these gifts. I'm just trying to delay it because I'm scared. But now that I have armor, I might as well open those gifts and see how much material it's going to give me. Because, guys, look at this. 21 iron right here. 26 gold. 25 tin. 16 diamond. Like, I got so much of all of the material that I need to start moving forward that opening these... Maybe it's a little cheaty, but it's it's just going to accelerate thing. And there's always a risk factor. So I feel that since I'm taking a risk, it's kind of justified. So I'm going to end on this. Next episode, we're going to get started on carbon processing. Like that's really the thing that's the most urgent right now. And that means probably trying to make a pulverizer and looking at the other quests we can make. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.